Rich re-signed for your fifth campaign here at Golden to Road. How excited are you to be heading into the 2021-22 Championship campaign? Yeah, very excited. Um, year five is always better than four, is the well-known phrase. Um, but yeah, definitely. Um, obviously, well, hopefully a longer campaign this time. A um, bit more of a season to get into. So yeah, can't wait for it to start. We've got a full Championship campaign this time around. How excited are you to be able to build momentum throughout the season? Yeah, massively. You know, we, we started slowly this year and I think you know, obviously it was a weird season that's been spoken about enough, but everything was pretty cramped and pretty rushed, sort of a 10 game sprint. So it'd be nice to have a longer pre-season um, and, and, you know, a longer season to build sort of your partnerships and relationships with, the, with all the new boys coming in. And hopefully we can play some real good stuff. There are 10 players that re for next season. How important is it that we've got a nucleus of players that have bought into the Blues way next season? Yeah, massively. You know, it's... There's some boys still here that know all about sort of the Blues way and they're the ones that will bring, bring the culture and drive the culture, likes of Tappers and stuff. Cubby have been around for a while now, um, so they're real important to the group. Um, and then obviously the, the, you get that blend of the Saints lads that will be here for their second year when they come. And obviously you haven't spoken to Mike, some real exciting guys coming in, some fresh faces to freshen up around the place. Yeah, looking uh, back at last season, quite a positive one for you actually. J top, uh, well joint top try scorer start every game um, and captain for quite a few of them. You must have been really pleased with how you progressed in the shortened campaign. Yeah, no, it was nice and obviously the captaincy thing was, was good, you know, to step in for Sean when needed. Um, but yeah, like I said, it was, the important thing for me was that Tappers and I finished on the same number. Got to look after the boys and, and the back three with sprints in there as well. Um, but yeah, it, like I said, enjoy myself. Weird with no fans, but it was kind of just had to get on with it. and one of those years where you're not overthinking things, you're just enjoying what you're doing and just grateful to be out there playing. For someone who's from Bedford, the Battle of Bedfordshire against Amphill, crowds returning, how special was it to have fans back in Goldenton Road? Yeah, of course, it's, you know, that's, that's the reason we play really and you, it was a tough year of trying to explain to the new lads you know, what it's like and just wait for them to come back and I think, you know, respect to Amphill, but Amphill aside, it would have been good whoever we were playing and obviously the sun came out and we had a thousand odd in, but it was it was massively loud and something hopefully we can get back to normal crowd numbers for next year and, and play in front of that because that's that's what it's all about. You mentioned the, the social aspect there. How difficult was it in a shortened campaign to build that within the squad and how much are you excited that with a longer campaign it's going to be a little bit easier to build those uh, relationships within the dressing room? Yeah, massively. You know, it, was, it was really hard last year. And it, I think you saw that for the first five, six games, especially with we had a lot of Saints lads come in and you know, although they're you know, trying real hard to buy in, it's, it's, it's different when you're allowed to get some socials and everyone you know, bonds as a group much quicker, much tighter. Um, so you know, we've got quite a few new faces for next year and it'd be important to get that in early doors, that side of things. Um, gels the group and we can all push forward in the same direction. Looking towards next season, what are your personal targets and what are your targets as a team? Uh, Personal-wise, always just stay fit and play as much as I can. Um, you know, no one wants to be injured, so that's that's the one for me. And then as a team, I think you'll see it over the next few weeks with the announcements. But you know, we don't really put sort of set targets in. We want to finish here, or whatever. We just, I think we know if we play as well as we can in the style we like, I think we'll be high up the table, hopefully. Yeah. Do you have a special message for the supporters heading into the 2021-22 campaign? Oh, just you know, we've we've all missed you a lot, and hopefully we can get back to normal crowd numbers and put on some good rugby displays for you.